Hi Taurus, this is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 3rd through October the 9th, 2021. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Taurus for October the 3rd through October the 9th, 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Taurus for October the 3rd through October the 9th, 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Taurus for October the 3rd through October the 9th, 2021. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Taurus. Taurus, this is a peek at your partner. So, Taurus, your partner has the Queen of Wands. Your partner has the Eight of Wands. Your partner has the Ace of Swords. Your partner has the Nine of Pentacles. And your partner has the Hierophant. This is you, Taurus. So, Taurus, your partner has the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, Taurus, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or your partner is wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus's partner. Queen of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Who is this? It is clarified with the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using their intuition concerning something, or searching their emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Taurus, listen, I feel like your partner is taking action right now, really searching their emotions or trying to use their intuition concerning commitment, marriage, living together situation or a family dynamics. Now this can be about going into a commitment, but Taurus and tarot tens are ending. So it could also be about coming up out of a commitment. 
Taurus, your partner has the Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face-to-face -face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So Taurus, listen, something could be happening quickly here. You know, we could be having this heated discussion or argument here, throwing fiery dots at one another. You know, Taurus, your partner could tell me that someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the eight of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the eight of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the eight of wands for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the page of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Taurus, listen, you know, yes, you guys could be communicating passionately, romantic, passionately towards one another. However, Taurus, your partner could tell me that you guys had this heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another. Taurus, your partner could tell me that passionate messages were found or we heard the news of someone sharing passion. Someone could have been communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be your partner passing their own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Taurus, listen, you know, your partner could be passing their own final verdict and judgment here because you guys had this heated discussion or argument or we found these passionate messages your partner could also tell me that someone is asking for forgiveness and a second chance here because you guys got into this heated discussion or argument. Clarify judgment for Taurus's partner. Clarify judgment for Taurus's partner. Clarify judgment for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into your partner. Now, this can be an offer for invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus. A high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. Brand new practical beginnings here. So Taurus, listen, I feel like some type of opportunity for practicality or commitment is coming into your partner. You could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance here, but you may also be speaking on some type of commitment or stability here, and your partner has to give their answer. I feel like this apology is for some type of heated discussion or argument that took place here. We'll see, because it could also be about passionate messages. Your partner has the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that they're coming into some type of truth and clarity here. Your partner could tell me that they're making a decision here or they're using this sword to sever. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. 
So either mentally or physically, your partner is wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. You know, Taurus, your partner may actually need to make a decision about physically moving. Could be relocating here, okay? Could be some type of travel, and we're having some type of disagreement about it. Taurus, your partner could tell me that, listen, we came into some type of truth and clarity here, and they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Or your partner's telling me that they're making a decision to put it behind you guys and move away to a place of peace and harmony together because someone is asking for forgiveness and a second chance here. Taurus, your partner has the nine of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Taurus, listen, you know, your partner could tell me that they're single or they're contemplating their singlehoodness here. Okay. I, it, something could be going on with your partner's abundance. Yeah, they can be abundant because something is coming into them. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Taurus's partner. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Taurus's partner. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the knight of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. Now, Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me it's a rush because it could be something trying to happen quickly here about whether or not they want to remain single. Taurus, your partner could tell me it was a rushing and going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument, and this is the reason why they're single. However, Taurus, your partner could tell me that someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere, and this is the reason why they want to be single. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Taurus, listen. <clears throat> Your partner's saying they're feeling a sense of betrayal here, okay, let down here over this rushing in, going off, going hand passionately with this heated discussion or argument. And it could be over money here. Mm -hmm. However, Taurus, your partner could tell me that they're feeling a sense of betrayal because they feel like you were out being a player here. They could have found love messages and heard the news of you sharing love, and this caused an argument between you guys. And Taurus, you may be coming in mm -hmm, trying to give them something. And I feel like they're seriously contemplating, searching their emotions or using their intuition on what they should do here, okay? Taurus, your partner has the Hierophant. This is you, Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Now, Taurus, this is you. But listen, this can be about forgiveness because it's here. And Taurus, this can be about commitment because it's here. But Taurus, this is you. Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus's partner. What does Taurus's partner think of Taurus? What does Taurus's partner think of Taurus? Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. 
Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Taurus, listen, I asked what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that you walked away, you left, you detached emotionally. Taurus, when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So Taurus, you may be returning, asking for forgiveness here. Taurus, you may be returning and asking to go into some type of commitment, and they're contemplating. However, Taurus, your partner could tell me that this Hierophant is about forgiveness and your partner saying, you know what, I don't know, maybe I'm going to walk away completely from this and just make a decision to just move out, move on and move away from the relationship. Or Taurus, your partner could tell me, yes, they're going to forgive and allow this returning to take place and let us put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. But Taurus, your partner could also be talking about commitment here, okay? And is it that your partner's walking away from this commitment? Or is it that someone is returning and your partner is wanting to give this commitment a second chance? Taurus, this is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 3rd through October the 9th, 2021. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment and share and i'll see you guys next week